For the sample problem number 1, a W16 by 77 beam, simply supported as shown, carries a uniform load of 12 kN per meter including its own weight and acting at its midspan. Determine the safe value of P acting on the midspan if flexure controls. Use Fy is equals to 248 megapascal. So, ito yung properties ng W16 by 77. So, makikita yan sa ASEP steel handbook. So, yung value ng Fy natin is equal to 248 megapascal. So, therefore, yung gagamitin natin dito still is A36. So, meron tayong length ng beam natin. So, what if, ba yung length ng beam natin, so, let's say, yung unbraced length ng beam natin, which is equal sa L, is equal to 3 meter. Or, in terms of millimeter, that is 3,000 mm. So, what if yan yung unsupported length ng beam natin? So, siyempre, first step lagi, kunin muna natin yung value ng L sub 1 natin at saka yung value ng L sub 2 natin. So, L sub 1 is equal to 200 B sub F all over square root of Fy. So, 200 multiplied by BF that is equal to 261.49 all over square root of eto, 248. So, the value of your L1 is now equal to 3,320.93 mm. So, sunod natin kunin is yung value ng L sub 2 natin which is equal to 137.900 all over D over A sub F all over multiplied by Fy. So D over AF that is equal to 0 0.08. The value of our Fy is equal to 248. So the value of our L sub 2 is equal to 6950.8. 16 mm. So, yung smaller value between the two, that will become our LC. So, in this problem, since mataas yung, mas mataas yung value ng L sub 2 natin compared sa value ng L sub 1 natin, L sub 1 is a smaller value. Therefore, L sub 1 is the L sub C. And L sub 2 is the L sub U. Meaning to say, since yung, yung L sub B natin is not less than siya, so value ng L sub C natin, yeah, and also nag less than yung value ng L sub C natin sa value ng L sub U natin, therefore, laterally supported yung beam natin. So, yung pinakamataas o yung possible na bending stress na pwedeng makuha ng beam natin is 0.66 Fy. So, para mahanap natin yon so, alamin muna natin kung compact or non-compact yung section natin. So, let's check for compactness. So, para ma-check natin yung compactness ng beam natin, uh, Anuhin lang natin yung sa module number 2 natin. Balikan lang natin, no? So, eto yung mga conditions. BF all over 2TF. That must be less than or equal dapat siya sa 170 all over square root of Fy. And at the same time, dapat yung D over T sub W natin must be less than or equal to 1680 all over square root of Fy. So, kung alohin natin, BF all over 2 TF, that is equal to 6.77. Yung 170 over square root of FY, that is equal to 10.80. So, 
since nag-less than siya, so nakuha na natin yung first criteria natin. Sa susunod naman, eto naman, D over TW, yung TW natin is 11.5. Yung D is 419.61. So that will become 336.31 pala. And also, dun sa kabila naman, that is 106.68. Since nag-less than yan, therefore, yung, F, yung section natin is compact. Ngayon, yung F sub B natin is equal siya si 0.66 of Fy, which is our Fy is equal to 248 megapascal. So, Fb is now equal to 163.68 megapascal. So, yung goal natin is mahanap natin yung value ng concentrated load acting at the midspan of our beam. So, lagi sa pagde-design, di ba? Your the actual value or the actual bending stress must be equal must be less than or equal to the allowable bending stress. So, since ASD tayo, pinag-aaralan natin under our curriculum is allowable strength design, allowable stress design. So, equate natin yung actual dun sa allowable. Equate natin. So, that will become eto, FB natin, that is 163.68 megapascal is equals to 1.63.68 all over sx so yung tinatawag nating m dito ito yung capacity ng beam natin so sabihin natin that is m cap m capacity yung s sub x natin given naman yan which is equal to so this this is equal to yung s sub x natin that is equal to 2, 1, 9, times 10 raised to 3. So, yung M capacity natin, cross multiply mo lang, that is equal to 163.68, multiply mo lang into 1, 9, 6 times 10 raised to 3. So, you will have 359.44. So, pindutin mo lang yung N, tapos magta times 10 raised to 6 yan. So, you have 359.44 times 10 raised to 6 or 359.44 kilonewton meter. So ngayon, hanapin natin yung ang dapat natin, yung makukuha natin, yung M capacity ng beam natin that must be greater than or equal dun sa M actual or yung maximum moment na mararamdaman ng biga natin. So, equate na lang natin para mahanap natin, no? So, yung M capacity natin is 359.44 kilonewton meter is equals to, since it is a simply supported beam, yung ano natin dyan is W sub T L squared over E plus since we have a concentrated load acting on the midspan, yung, short, yung formula natin dyan for the maximum moment is PL over 4. So, meron tayong given ng WT natin, which is equal to 12 kN per meter. Meron tayong value ng L natin, which is equal to 3, 3 meter. So, makukuha na natin yung value ng T natin. So, you have 359.44 equals, W sub T is 12, yung L natin is equal to 3 meter all over 8 plus yung V natin multiplied by 3 all over 4, the value of our P is now equal to 461.25 kilo newton. So this will become our answer. So, what if naman, no? So, that is if yung S sub B natin is equal to 3000 mm. So, what if naman the value of 
our laterally unsupported length is equal naman siya sa 6 meter. So what if naman, parito naman natin yung unbraced length natin, from 3,000 mm, gawin natin siyang 6,000 mm. So in this example, nakuha na natin yung value ng L sub C natin, and the value of our L sub U. So pag compare natin sila, so yung L sub B natin, kung mapapansin ninyo, eto, 6,000, na greater than siya sa value ng L sub C natin. Pero yung unbraced length natin, less than pa rin siya sa value ng L sub U natin. So therefore, yung FB natin is equal siya sa 0.60 FY. So that will become 0.60 multiplied by 248. So the value of the allowable bending stress is equal to 148.8 megapascal. So same lang tayo ng principle, di ba? So yung actual natin, which is denoted by small f, so kapag small f that is actual, that must be less than or equal siya dun sa allowable natin. So, equate na lang natin yung value ng F sub V natin, which is equal siya sa 148.8, equal siya dun sa M capacity ng beam natin, all over S sub X. So, makukuha na natin yung M capacity natin, i-cross multiply lang natin yung value ng S sub X natin, dun sa 148.8. So, we will have 326.76 kilonewton meter. So, same procedure pa rin, pa rin. Your M capacity that must be less, greater than, or equal to the M actual. So, yung capacity na kuha natin yan using the formulas. Yung M actual naman makukuha natin yan considering the loading. Kung ano yung actual na may experience ng beam natin. So, consider natin yung loading. So, diretso na natin, 326.76 is equal to W. Yung L natin is equal to 6 squared all over 8 plus yung P. Yung L natin is 6 all over 4. The value of your P is now equal to 181.84 kilo newton. So, this will now become our answer. So, paano naman, no? Kung yung unbraced length natin is mag-greater than naman siya dun sa value ng L sub U natin. Let's say the value of our unbraced length is equals to 8,000 mm. So, kapag 8,000 yung, yung unbraced length natin, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung L sub B natin, magiging greater than siya sa value ng L sub C natin. And at the same time, yung value ng unbraced length natin, that will become greater than dito sa value ng L sub U natin. Meaning to say, yung beam natin, mag under siya either intermediate beam or long beam. So, ngayon, hahanapin natin or i-indicate natin kung saan siya magpo-fall na category. Kung intermediate ba or long beam. So, gamitin natin yung mga formulas natin kanina. So, that will become square root of 703-270 CB over square root over FY tapos less than or equal sa L over R sub T less than or equal dapat siya sa 3516 330 CB all over FY so, lagay natin. So, kapag 
So, since yung ano natin dito, since it is a simply supported beam, the value of your CV is equal to 1.0. Yung FY natin, that is equal to 248. Yung L naman natin, that is equal to 8,000. Yung RT naman natin, eto, given siya, that is 70.36. Yung CV natin is 1.0. FY, that is 248. So, upon calculation, makukuha natin dyan is 53. Ito, that is 53.25. Tapos, yung susunod naman, that is 113.70. Yung dito naman sa ano natin, that is 119.07. So, pagko-compare natin sila. Yung 113.70 natin, that is greater than, yung 53.25 natin, that is less than or equal siya sa value ng 113.70 natin. Ito namang 113.70, less than or equal naman siya sa value ng 119.07. So, therefore, since namit natin yung mga conditions, therefore, this is an intermediate beam. So, kapag intermediate yung beam natin, so, the value of our F, yung magsisilbing mga ano natin sa FB, that is equal to FY, so, 2 third minus Fy L over R sub T quantity squared all over 10.55 times 10 raised to 6 C sub B. So, lagay lang natin. That is equal to 248. 2 third minus 248. The value of L over RT is equal to eto, 113.5. 70 squared natin all over 10.55 times 10 raised to 6. The value of CV is equal to 1.0. So, FB is equal to 129.07. Eighty-nine para so wait, wait. so mali. so that is F sub B is equal to eighty-nine point ninety-seven megapascal. So kung mapapansin niyo, eto yung makukuha nating F sub B. Kaso iko compare pa natin yun. Kung mapansin niyo sa graph, di ba ganito yung graph natin kanina? Pinakamataas is point sixty F Y tapos nagpapababayan. So kailangan eto mag less than or equal siya sa value ng 0.60 FY. Wherein yung value ng 0.60 FY natin, which is yung pinakamataas na ordinate dun sa graph natin, is equal siya sa 0.60 FY. Yung 0.60 FY natin is equal siya sa 148.8. Since less than siya, okay. Ngayon, aside sa Ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Bale, dalawa yung pagkukumpare nating formula. etong mahabang formula na to na may 2 third versus versus dito sa isang formula natin. Which is equal to F sub B is equal to 82740 C sub B all over L B over A sub F. So, 8 to 7, 40. The value of CV is 1.0. Yung L natin is equal to 8,000. So, yung D over AF natin is 0 0.08. So, the value of your FB is now equal to 129.28 megapascal. So, kapag intermediate yung beam natin, bale tatlo yung kinocompare natin dyan. etong 
kinocompare natin. Una is etong may two-third. Pangalawa is kinocompare natin siya dito sa 0.60 FY. Kasi nga, eto yung pinakamataas na ordinary tapos pababa. Next naman is eto naman. Etong 82740 CB. Eto namang formula na to, kinocompare din natin siya, ginagamit din natin siya kapag long naman yung beam natin. Either intermediate or long beam yung, gagami, yung gagamitin natin or uh, masasolve natin, laging present to sa comparison. So, nag-iiba lang is etong isang FB na to. So, ngayon, ano yung kukunin, ya-adapt natin dyan na allowable bending stress? So, eh, that's might be equal, less than or equal dapat dyan sa 0.60 FY. When 0.60 FY is equal siya sa 148.8. So, okay. So, ayan. So, ano yung ya-adapt natin value ng FB natin? So, siyempre, ba diba, hindi naman, hindi, since, na-exceed nung unbraced length natin yung value ng L sub U natin, yung unbraced length natin is 8,000. Yung, yung unbraced length natin is 8,000, yung L sub U natin is 6,950. So, na-exceed ng L sub B yung value ng L sub U. So, meaning to say, hindi na yan magwa-fall sa 0.60 FY. So, yung pagpipilian na lang natin dito is yung nakuha natin using the two formulas. So, yung ya-adapt natin dyan, siyempre, yung mas malaki yung value. So, meaning to say, etong F sub B natin dito, eto yung nag-govern. So, ya-adapt natin to since eto yung mas malaking value compared dito sa nakuha natin using the first formula. So, adapt natin yan. So, adapting that, so that will become yung FB natin, yung actual natin, equate lang natin siya sa allowable. So, that will become yung M capacity natin all over yung S sub X. So, the value of your F sub B is 129.28 megapascal so m capacity all over yung s sub x natin is eto 2196 times 10 raised to 3 so m capacity is now equal to 283.90 kilonewton meter So, i-equate natin yan. Dapat, that must be less, greater than, or equal dun sa M actual or dun sa maximum moment na mararamdaman ng beam natin due to the loading. So, that is yung M actual. So, etong 283.19 is equal to, since it is simply supported, WTL squared over A, our W is 12, yung length natin is 8 squared all over 8 plus yung P natin, yung value ng L natin is 8 all over 4. So, the value of our concentrated load is equal to 93.95 kilo newton. So, this will now become our answer. So, what if the, yung pinaka-critical lang naman In computing for the laterally unsupported beam is yung pagkuha ng allowable bending stress natin. So what if yung mga nakuha natin value ng FV natin using this formula is na greater than siya sa value ng 0.60 FY natin. Let's say, sabihin natin yung nakuha natin dito is 150 megapascal. Using the second formula, yung nakuha natin is sabihin natin na sabihin natin 149 megapascal yung nakuha natin. Meaning to say, itong 150 na to na greater than siya sa value ng 0.60 FY natin. Same as here, yung 149 natin na greater than siya sa value ng 0.60 FY. So meaning to say, Since, kung i-consider natin yung chart natin, di ba? So, yung highest natin is 0.60 FY. So, kapag nag-intermediate or 
long yung beam natin, yung FB niya is bababa. So, meaning to say, ito yung pinaka maximum na value ng bending stress natin. Therefore, kung ganito yung magiging scenario, adapt FB is equals to 0.60 FY. Yun yung gagamitin ninyong FB ninyo. So, let's say, in this example, ha, in this example, etong L over RT natin is na greater than siya sa value ng square root of 3516, 330 CV over FY. So, meaning to say, hindi na siya intermediate beam. Magiging long beam na siya. So, kung long yung beam natin, yung mapapalitan lang dito is eto. Etong formula na to. Etong formula na to, yung eto yung mapapalitan lang, eto, mapapalitan lang yan, so, mapapalitan lang yan ng formula na equal to 1172100 CV all over L over R sub T squared. Yan lang yung mapapalitan. Kaso, eto, eto gagamitin mo pa rin to, etong formula na to, hindi yan mawawala sa pagko-compare ng FB. Either yan, either, either, Intermediate beam yan or long beam. <clears throat> so, yon, Ganon yung process natin sa pagkuha ng allowable bending stress.